Hey everybody, we're going to be looking just really quickly at MIDI clock today. This ties into the recent videos I've done about IDAM and working with iOS. And so this is one of those things which you'll need to know about if you want to sync up tempo with apps. So on my phone, let's start the recording here. I'm using an app in here which is the Korg Wave Station app. This is one of my favorite modules. It's always been one of my favorites. I actually have the hardware unit as well, but I much prefer doing this on my phone or iPad because it gives me a visual representation of what's there, which is way better than the rack mount unit. And it's small. So it's a lot better than a bigger unit that I can't take with me everywhere. It has to stay in one place. So inside of our project settings, this is different than the overall settings, like it's different than the preferences. It's under project settings, synchronization. And the big difference here is that these are per project instead of global settings. But under MIDI, we can transmit MIDI clock out any of our different MIDI ports or interfaces. We're going to do song. We're just going to leave it the default, which has the play, start, stop, SPP, and continue at cycle jump. And I do have auto compensate plugin latency, although I haven't done enough exploring to see how much that really changes or helps. But this is where we turn it on. We can send it to multiple destinations, but we're just going to send it out the iPhone, which is turned on through the IDAM protocol. Close that for now. And then inside the WaveStation app, under settings, down at the bottom, the tempo is set either internally and you can change it, or you can choose MIDI clock. And that's what I have chosen. Now I'm gonna just play this instrument real quick. Not doing a whole lot right there. And we can push play, which then will transmit the MIDI clock. It has to be engaged in the transport. And now I can play this instrument. And we can change the tempo here. You can hear as I slow it down that the that, that actual app is slowing down as well. Then we can mix and match this with other instruments like a drummer. And it's going to be able to adjust depending on whatever we set that tempo to be. So just a really cool way to make these two different worlds not only communicate with MIDI and with audio, but also to get that tempo information between them as well. So this works with a number of different iOS apps, not all of them. Works with things like Korg Gadget, Korg WaveStation, a lot of the Korg products, but there are some other ones GarageBand on iOS sends out MIDI clock, but it doesn't receive it just like Logic 10 can send it out, but not receive it. So kind of still figuring out which ones work and which ones don't, but this is definitely one of those cooler apps that I use that I really like, and it has this functionality. Okay, just really short today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all soon.